We send Palace Upe. In fact, she's right there. Wave, Palace. We can see you. We sent her Hi high there. atop there. How are you? Looking <laughs> good in the shades? That way. Yes. Does it look any better from up there? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I can barely hear you if you were standing here, I could barely see you because on, on a clear day, you can see all the way from the Sierra to the coastal range, but today, well, you get the picture. There is the Tower Bridge. It is shrouded in what looks like fog, but it's actually there. That way, Cal Expo, barely make it out. And then to the north of us, where Truxell and I-80 are, pretty much non-existent. Now, of course, this is all because of those wildfires, as you said, and we've got another way to look at this, and that is from the satellite view. And I'm gonna show you a picture actually from yesterday that shows how the entire valley is blanketed with this stuff. And essentially, you can see that it's collected a little more toward the foothills. And back out here live, apparently that is the condition today. It's a little bit better to the west of us in Davis and Vacaville. It is unhealthy for sensitive groups, but as you head towards the foothills, we're talking Folsom, El Dorado Hills, uh, it's actually unhealthy for pretty much everybody. Now, the problem is that no matter which direction you're looking at this, no matter which direction you try to head to get away from it, you can't escape the stuff. And air quality officials say it's pretty much gonna be this way through the weekend. Um, right now in Sacramento County, we are just getting infiltrated with smoke. We have fires, hundreds of fires burning all around us. So even if we get a wind, smoke is going to blow in somewhere in some direction. So there, there you have it. I wish I had better news for you. But Dave Bender is standing by in the studio, I know, with the official air quality numbers, and that tells the other story here. Yeah, what you said basically is true as far as the current numbers right now, Palace. But as we head ourselves on toward tomorrow, things should get a little bit better. Hello. What Hello. a difference a, a couple of days makes, huh? I, I, I was just under a week when I was up here. And as you said, last time I felt like the Phantom of the Opera had come back into town. Everything was so foggy. We could barely see out to Cal Expo today. I can see clearly to Cal Expo. Unfortunately, the Sierra is still a bit cloudy. But then if you go to the north toward Truxell and I-80, and Dave Bannard is making his way toward that area, if I wanted to go shopping, I can tell you the traffic's looking pretty good. And then out to the west of us, hey, I can see all the way to the coastal range. It does look a bit hazy, but it's hotter today, too. So as you mentioned, Dave, the uh, air quality is good for most of us. Now I'm going to show you some satellite pictures from NASA because that shows one of the worst days last year and compared to today, how much better it is now. So we've got those to show you, and there you go. I mean, you could see we were all choking on this stuff last week. Back out live, I can tell you, a lot of people came to me after the, uh, doing this shot last week and said, I can't believe you stood on top of a 28 floor building. Weren't you scared? Didn't even think about it. Today when I got out here and the breezes started, thought about it just a little bit. But I'm gonna show you all the different cameras that we have, and from that, you can see that the air quality is so much better. Now, I understand that the official numbers uh, are out there, and Dave has those, but there might be something in the forecast to be aware of. So as I send it back to you, Dave, are we gonna stay this good is my question. You know, we could pick up uh, some extra particulate matter tomorrow, that's in the forecast, but you know why you're, you're not, you're, you're maybe more afraid now? When you had the why? smoke the last time, you couldn't see the bottom of the building. That's so true. You know, I was blissfully unaware, and here I am very aware. But no, it's really, it's a really cool vantage point, I have to tell you. Still, though, I can't take off the sunglasses because it's blindingly bright up here. Well, this time around, the sunglasses, you need them. Last week, you needed a gas yeah. mask. So, very good. Glad to, see, <laughs> glad to see up there, and that's a nice view.